So Gmail is one of the most popular emailing clients in the world. And I'll go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular application or even the desktop website, no matter which way you're using. Now, in this particular case, we'll be using the iPhone application, but the same exact app is available for desktop PCs, Macs, and also iPhones and iPads and Android tablets. So this is what the application looks like. Now, the very first time you go ahead and open up this particular app, it's not going to give you this layout. It's going to give you a completely different layout, which is going to be telling you to sign in or creating an account. So I've already created an account. And it's very easy to create one. So once you go ahead and log in, this is basically what the application will go and tell you. Now, at the very top, there's going to be a lot of different layouts that could be happening for you. But universally, you'll have the search bar up here. So you can search for your mail. You have your three lines here, which will give you a breakdown on all the different settings, which we'll talk about in a second. The top right, if you tap on it, will show you all the different accounts that you have. So if you have multiple accounts on your particular Gmail app, you'll see all those different accounts available right here. So you're able to do that right here. You'll also see your ability of adding another account and managing all your accounts. If you want to remove an account or something like that on your particular email app, you can also do that here. And then you'll see all the emails that you have up here. Now the very two, sometimes depending on how your Gmail is set up, you'll see social and promotions. Now social is basically things that are just sent to you via like YouTube or Facebook or those types of like Instagram. If you're getting any like social media type of notifications via email, those will be sent here. For me, really, it's only YouTube. Promotions is things like, you know, basically anything, any company that's trying to send you or probably sell you on something, they will go and send you stuff on promotions. Think of things like subscription model or if like Netflix is sending you something like a promotional email. They will send that under promotions. So it keeps your email a little bit nicer. Now you can still see all your emails do you have before, which I'll we'll show you in a second. At the bottom, you'll have two different options. You'll see the little send icon, which will just be all your emails that you have, your current inbox. This little Google Meets icon, which if you tap on it, will show you all the different meetings that you have available. So if you're like, you know, if you have a work email associated, all those emails that you have throughout the day will be sent right here. Then you can also create new meetings and even join if you have a meeting with a meeting code. You can join with a meeting code right here without even having to download the Google Meets application, which is actually very cool. Now coming back over here, you can also compose an email. Now composing email or sending an email is basically the same thing. And basically what it will do is it will go ahead and essentially go ahead and email whoever you want to email. Now at the very top, you'll have their, your two. So whoever you want to send your email to, you can go and basically drop that out. So in this case, I'll just go and send it to myself. So literally I'll just send it to myself, the same email that I had. Now under subject, you can just keep this to whatever subject you want your email to be. And then under compose, this is where you'd go ahead and type in all the emails and things that you want associated with this particular account. So if you want to attach a file or whatever, you can also do that here on desktop. But you can also click on this little like paperclip icon at the very top right here and basically connect and attach any sort of other email that you want. So you can attach photos, you can attach files, you can even drag and drop things from your files application into this email account as well. So you can see I have stuff here that I can also drag and drop. So it really is a pretty cool thing. You can also bring files in from Google Drive as well. So that is another thing you can do. And if you're ready, if you have all the emails set up, you can go and click send. And then that email will be sent to whoever you sent it to. So that right there is a really cool thing. Now on the left side, believe it or not, that's kind of all you have. Now you have all the rest of your emails right here. So you can just kind of scroll through and see all the other emails that you have associated with your particular application. If you click on the top left, you click on those three lines. This is where you can see the top three are just a breakdown of all the little apps that like the little icons that I already showed you. Start emails. If you start any emails, that'll show up right here. Snooze. So if you got a meeting invite and you snoozed it, that'll be showing up right here. Under important, that's kind of what the important emails that I have, which I just keep here. Sent emails, basically any emails that you sent will be here. Schedule, drafts, all mail is the one that basically a lot of people will go and check out because they may just want to see all the mail associated with your particular account. You can always tap on all mail. That will show you every single mail that you got minus spam. And under spam, that will show you all the spam emails that you got. So that's another big thing because if you want to go through and just get rid of all the spam or if you want to see spam, sometimes an email is sent to you and it will go into your spam inbox. So you may just want to check that out every once in a while. Under trash, any deleted emails will show up under there. You can also create a new bucket and you can quarter, you know, categorize it from there. And if you tap on settings, the settings icon will also show you a little bit more settings. So here you can go ahead and basically, you know, choose different applications that are associated with your Google account. You have your email notifications. You have a lot of different things here set up you can do too. Smart Compose, you can go and enable, you can kind of, you know, enable or disable, which is like their AI way of kind of creating emails. And then you have default apps and 
having you know, bottom navigation on scroll and so many other things across the board here. So at a high level, that is basically how you use the Gmail application and how to use Gmail. Like I said, there's a lot to learn here, but the more you use it, the more you understand it. And that's basically all you really need to know so far. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.